In the book about Charlie, Damn Right, by Janet Lowe, Charlie talks about his view on teaching finance. He says that he would use the histories of a hundred or so companies that did something right or wrong as a basis for teaching the course. Could each of you, we'll start with Charlie, give us an example or two from either category, right moves or wrong moves? I predict Charlie's going to talk about Costco. Go ahead, Charlie. <laughs> well, Costco, of course, is a... <laughs> a business that became the best in the world in its category, and it did it with an extreme meritocracy and an extreme ethical duty, self-imposed, to take all its cost advantages as fast as it could, could accumulate them and pass them on to the customers. And of course, that created ferocious customer loyalty. It's been a wonderful business to watch, and of course, strange things happen when you, when you do that and do that long enough. Costco has one store in Korea that will do over 400 million in sales this year. These are figures can't exist in retailing, but of course they do. So that's an example of, of somebody having the right managerial system, the right personnel selection, the right ethics, the right diligence, and et cetera, et cetera. That is quite rare. And if you once or twice in a lifetime you're associated with such a business, you're a very lucky person. Charlie and I were on a plane recently that was hijacked. With what? was hijacked. I'm telling about our experience on that hijacked plane when the hijackers picked us out as the two dirty capitalists that they really had to execute. And But they were, they were a little abashed about it. They didn't really have anything against us. So they said that each of us would be given one request before they shot us. And they turned to Charlie and they said, what would you like as your request? Charlie said, I would like to give once more my speech on the virtues of Costco <laughs> with, <laughs> with illustrations. And the hijacker said, well, that sounds pretty reasonable to me. And he turned to me and said, and what would you like, Mr. Buffett? And I said, shoot me first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well.